I came to know Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord in 1949 as a teenager. The young man who invited me to go to the camp said to me that night, Jerry, now that you know Jesus Christ, that means that you can meet with him at the beginning of every day, and then you can live with him all day long. Mike got me up at 6.30 that next morning and we met with Jesus. And then I lived with him all day long. And that became the pattern of my life for the last 66 years. I want to jump ahead 18 years. I went through the university, I went through seminary, I became a pastor, and I invited Don Rayburg to go with me and speak to a statewide meeting. And he said, you want to enter into a prayer covenant? And I said, what's that? And he said, it's simple. Uh, two people just join together and ask Jesus to be the Lord of their lives. And then they uh, pray that Jesus would be the Lord of each of their lives at the beginning of that day. And then they commit to hold one another accountable. He said, do you want Jesus to be the Lord of your life? And I said, I sure do. Do you want him, do you want to commit to him every uh, morning for 30 days, Jesus be the Lord of my life? Yes, I do. Uh, do you want to then pray for me that he'll be the Lord of my life and I'll pray that he'll be the Lord of your life? And I said, wonderful. In the last 48 and a half years, I've been involved in literally thousands of prayer covenants. I'm in a prayer covenant right now with over 100 people. Can you imagine what that does in my life when a hundred and some people pray every day at the beginning of the day, Jesus be the Lord of Jerry's life today. But the line has changed over these 48 years. And so uh, I added the word today, Jesus be the Lord of my life today. And that was true for, for a few years. And then I added the, the phrase in new ways. I wanted to be driving a stake into the ground saying, Jesus, I really mean it. And, uh, and then I added the phrase and change me any way you want. So that's the prayer that I pray every day. Can you imagine what would happen in your life if you prayed that with a number of people every day and them praying for you? Can you imagine if every member of your family prayed that prayer? If every member of your congregation prayed that prayer? If every member of the body of Christ across the world prayed that prayer? What would happen in the transformation and the awakening in our world? Listen to these words of Jesus. He's the Lord. He said these words after his resurrection, the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the first and the last. I'm the beginning and the end. Jesus is the beginning and he's the end. He is supreme. He is the sovereign Lord of the universe. He is at the right hand of the Father. And we can count on Him every day of our lives. Hallelujah. God bless you.